Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for a little update video. We're gonna talk about some things going on with the Miata, uh, next plans for it, and yeah, a little quick question to answer in this video is how long did my race battery last on a daily driven slash light track day driven NC Miata? So here she is, the 2011 NC Miata. If this is the first time you're seeing this car, lots of videos on it, uh, whole engine swap process, hard top, roll bar, I mean, there's a video on pretty much every single thing on this car, which is why we're making this short video to answer the question we asked at the beginning of the video. Since I don't drive this car a ton, uh, a lot of times it'll sit on the battery tender um, if the battery's low. I checked it every so often. If it was low, charge it up, and you know, so on and so forth throughout the years that I had it. I would just take my little trickle charger here. Uh, it's a low amperage, so it, didn't overcharge the battery or anything like that. I didn't even usually let it get to 100. Every time I did charge it, I would just plug it in, charge it up enough to where I could start the car, drive it around a little bit, and be on my way. And this right here is the race battery that we're using. This is from the Track Dog Racing Kit. Um, it's an AGM 310 cold cranking amps. Uh, pretty small battery, very, very lightweight. It was perfect for their super cool kit. Smaller battery, obviously doesn't last as long, but how long did it last? I installed the Track Dog Racing super cool battery relocation kit back in December of 2020. So from the date of this video, just about two years ago. And the battery did fine for starting the 2.5. Obviously the car sat for a long time. So it just kind of would die off every so often and then I'd charge it back up and drive the car around. Never had any issues, never left me stranded anywhere. So we've got our battery uh, charger plugged in. You guys will see what kind of happened to this battery. Uh, I went to go charge it up because the car wouldn't start at all and it shows as defective. So the battery is just totally defective at this point. It's not gonna charge, it's not gonna start the car and it's basically junk, so I had to replace it. And I kind of ordered the battery in a quick manner. So I ordered the same brand, but we're gonna try something out a little different, I guess, because I accidentally ordered the wrong size, but shouldn't be too big of a deal. So we ended up going with the AGM ETX14. The old battery is the ETX 20L. Like I said, the 310 uh, cold cranking amps. This new battery that I got is only 220. So that's, so that's 90 cold cranking amps fewer on this new battery. But this battery is also smaller than the other one. It's more lightweight. And it's so small that I had to get a little riser um, to raise it up to where I can tighten it uh, all down. And uh, otherwise it's the same. We have our battery cutoff switch. The terminals on the battery used to be right here and here. So I had to make an adjustment to this wire. So it does kind of extend out a little bit. This battery probably is gonna last even less than two years. So I'll be sure to order the next one correctly, but we're going to uh, be kind of testing this one out. So far, so good. It starts the car just fine. And obviously it's a brand new battery, so I haven't had to charge it or anything but we're gonna make updates on this as we go. Otherwise, let's, uh, let's start the car. You guys haven't heard it in a while. So I'm gonna start it up, show you guys that the battery's working just fine. So yep, yeah, she starts up fine. Yes, I still need to finish. I still need to finish up this tail light. I just genuinely haven't had time. But she starts, she runs. Engine sounds fine. At least it sounds like it always has. It's always been kind of a loud engine, but if you're wondering what a 2.5 sounds like with cams, I guess that's kind of your sample right there. So, yep. Yeah. That's the NC Miata. I think I'll give you guys a couple revs.
I have always really enjoyed the way that this car sounds. It just sounds raw, not too loud, not too quiet. It has a good like raspiness to the exhaust. I, I do love this car. I haven't driven it enough at all. And uh, yeah, I, I've missed it quite a bit. Tried to take it out as much as I can and it's getting so nice out that there's really no excuse now. I wanna take the hard top off to drive it around because the weather is so nice. Um, and luckily I can do that just by myself, but I need to build a hard top stand. So that video is going to be coming eventually. But for now, we're gonna close the hood. Um, I might go try to drive it this weekend since it's gonna be somewhat nice outside, but um, let me show you guys what I have coming up in the next video too. So what we have right here is a flying Miata front adjustable sway bar with brand new end links and brand new brackets with the poly bushings. So whole new kit going on the front end of the NC Miata. If you have been around for a long time, you'll know that one of my first videos was of the RX-8 yellow dot front sway bar. So you might be wondering why are you swapping it out? Um, it's been fine. I did the poly bushings on it like three years ago and they've been fine too. I check over the suspension every so often, but for this piece, I wanna specifically thank John. He sent me a message on Facebook saying, I have this sway bar. Unfortunately, he had to sell his car. So he's been a, a viewer of the channel and he was nice enough to basically let me take this and install it on the NC Miata. And this sway bar is larger than stock. I don't know how much larger it is than the RX-8 bar, but I think it's probably close-ish to the same. The big thing on this one is you have these two adjustment points on the sway bar so you can do stiff soft um, the rx8 one does not have that so i am going to throw this on i don't know if i'm going to need the end links for right now since i recently did the racing beat ones but we will put the new bushings and brackets on as well one of the big things i noticed on the track outside of tires i know tires will be able to fix this issue for a good part of it um, i was having some really weird feeling in the front turning in on corners that um would be like a down slope. Um, there's one corner in particular that I'd get, get speed going down, hit the apex, and the front tires would just start to kind of feel like they would give out. So it was like under load, something funny was happening. So I'm gonna try the new sway bar. Um, I think part of the issue is that I did a yellow dot front and a yellow dot rear. And a lot of people run a bigger bar in the front and a smaller bar in the rear. So I'm hoping with this uh, flying Miata sway bar, I can set it to the stiffer setting and maybe remedy some of that outside of tires, but we'll have to see. We'll be putting this on in the next video, but otherwise the Miata update, it's been fine. You guys saw it start, you heard it run. We got the new battery in, so really she's good to go for the season before things start to get really, really nasty out. As far as any winter weather that we get, it's rare, but I love driving this car in the winter. It's probably one of my favorite times to do it. I leave the top off, I crank the heat up, wear a jacket and people give me looks and I've seen people take pictures of me before driving it in like 32 degree weather, but it's fun, it's its own experience. Um, so yeah, definitely wanna have it ready. So hope you guys are excited um, for more videos. I've gotten a lot of good feedback and comments. We are working our way towards 10,000 subscribers. So if you have made it this far, go down below, hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, uh, I'm gonna close it out. More videos to come. Hope you guys have been enjoying. I'm trying to get back to two videos a week, doing my best. I've got a lot going on in my life, but trying to power through it. So thanks so much for watching guys. If you are new to the channel, go down below, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.